for the starter, we've got a lovely gem lettuce salad oh, yeah, um, yeah, at the Oscar yeah. luncheon. Yeah. Hey, don't pop it. You don't, you don't have to be arrogant with your uh, champagne uh, opening. Beautiful. Cheers. All right, cheers to you. I'm glad we toasted because I heard that um, you were the mischief maker. Oh, that's the what lunch. they're calling me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of mis mischief did we make? Well, um, I don't know. I don't know about what mischief. Send the album. I was stealing in other people's seats, um, oh. so I really messed up the seating arrangement. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I didn't really obey that rule. Oh, how many rules do you really obey in life? Um. <laughs> I obey the physical rule of needing to continue breathing. I do that. <laughs> I'll stick with that one. There you go. And nothing else. That's about it. I, I will tell it all. Cindy Ariva told on you. She said <laughs> Did Michael she? was making all sorts of mess in there. He was just causing all sorts of mess. Oh mystery. yeah, yeah. No, that's right. Charlize <laughs> is another one. She's a rat bag. She oh. was called, she was actually one of the she was actually the perpetrator of a lot of the the rule breaking. Who did you end up buying the class photo, by the way? Because I love to see that. Oh. I, I like that image of everybody there. Um I was next to Kathy Bates. Nice. Yes. And then um, uh, Bong Joon-ho sat, sat sort of right in front of me, ruined my photo. <laughs> uh, but that's what he does. That's, that's what, what he does. does. He likes to, he's sort of, he's, he's obsessed with sort of ruining my career, sabotaging my moments. <laughs> and as a nominee, you know, he was like, oh, I'm going to be nominated too. I'm like, just relax, man. You don't have to. Oh, yes. that's next thing, he gets nominated as well. He's just copying me. Do you, do you... Because Greta Gerwig, she was in here and she told me how... Well, she's copying me as well. She's obsessed with me. She's obsessed with I... just trying to get... My, like, do whatever I'm trying to do, she's trying to do it as well. <laughs> in fact, most of those people in that room, if they're truthful, if they're being honest, <laughs> Next thing jealous. You know, next year she's going to make Jojo Bunny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You see what I'm saying? But um, Greta, she was telling me how two years ago she actually made the connection at the class photo with Meryl Streep to do Little Women. Like Meryl said, I heard you're doing Little Women. I'd like to do it at the class photo. And all of a sudden, boom, Meryl Streep's in a movie. So do you ever think about that? Like, I could, should I try to talk Kathy Bates up? Or should I try, let's see, what can I do? Well, now I'm thinking about it. Now you've said it was too late for me. See? When someone told me that, and I thought that I could go and talk to these people. See? You could have had a opportunity. film cast. <laughs> it's a real missed opportunity. <laughs> Who would I have wanted to talk to in there? Nobody, because I don't watch other people's movies, because um, I just watch my own things. Here's what I do. One of those Sundays, those lazy Sundays, I just get my box set out of my films, and just, in order, just watch them all back to back. I love it. And then I put the commentary on, because I'm so interested in what I could What's possibly this? say about my films. <laughs> uh, and that's just sort of just me, just like, you know, just, uh, just humbly just watching my stuff yeah. as I wrap up in my bed with myself. <laughs> And, um, and do we say things like, man, that guy is handsome. Gosh, We do say that, brilliant. me and myself, <laughs> yep. But the, um, the, the actor part of me and the director part of me have got a really strong bond, and um, we've been working together for a while now. Uh, yeah. We're like Scorsese and De Niro. <laughs> and I think um, so there's I, something about me that I think I'm going to continue working with this guy. There's something about you that told you you were really talented. It was the talent that there told you go, me that. That's what it was. Um, I've got a great eye for talent. <laughs> Sometimes that big search for talent leads you directly into the mirror. Speaking of great eye for talent, Archie. Yay! Come on. Yep, he's incredible. We're obsessed with him. Where can we find him? Can I put him in my pocket he's and take him home? You. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I mean, up. I feel like, you know, that you do have this eye for maybe what's next, you know what I'm saying, to kind of keep people on their toes. Where did you find him and what, where did, Archie, what, do you know what he's doing next? Yeah, but we found him, he, uh, just through the normal auditioning channels, but he, he, was, he had such an incredible presence. I watched the little tape on the casting website and stuff, and he, uh, as soon as I saw him, as soon as I saw his face, I said, I don't care if he can act or not, he's in the movie. And uh, just cast him right there, just because it's just, it's just something about him. You want to con con yeah. keep watching him. Mm -hmm. You fall in love with him. Bravo you, because that was, it was perfection. Um, we heard that you may have been approached by Lucasfilms. Mm. Did you answer, no? 
Listen, what does approached even mean? I've seen Star Wars, that's about as far as it, as it got. 